Hey, it's Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim. Today I want to talk to you about how to fix a leak in a sleeping pad. I recently spent a miserable night in camp having to get up and reinflate my sleep pad about every 45 minutes because somewhere along the line it developed a very slow leak and I kept waking up on the freezing cold ground. My hips hurt. I was getting cold and it was all because I had two little tiny leaks in my sleep pad. Now these were not something I could identify in the field. I couldn't hear them. In fact, it took quite a bit of work to find them even using the standard methods, but I thought I might as well share my experience with you and let you see what you can do if your sleep pad develops a leak. So the first thing you're going to want to do is prepare your repair supplies. To find the leak, hopefully all you will need is a spray bottle full of soapy water. You're also going to want a pen to mark where the leak is once you find it, and then you're going to need some sealant to fix the holes. Now many sleep pads come with some fabric patches, but unless the hole is very large or there's a big tear, you really shouldn't need them. You are also going to want some rubbing alcohol and a rag to clean the pad before you apply the sealant. Now in a best case scenario, you should be able to simply inflate the pad, spray one side down with the soapy water, and look for the bubbles that will appear when it begins leaking air. If the leaks are very small, you might want to apply pressure to the pad to make the leaks more obvious. Flip it over, try again, and if you still haven't found it, then I would look along the sides. One thing I would check right away is the valve. If it turns out that the leak is a mechanical failure, that may be very difficult to fix, but it will also keep you from having to spend a lot of time with a wet, soapy sleep pad. If the leaks are not revealed by the soapy water test, the next level is to put it in a bathtub. Fill the bathtub with water, submerge one part of the mat at a time until you see a stream of bubbles coming up. One difficulty with this method is that the pad is going to naturally fold in upon itself as you push it under the water. This alone could seal up leaks in between the seams. You also want to make sure to move your hands around so that you don't inadvertently plug the leak while you are holding it underwater. So if neither method reveals the leaks, I would simply try it again. The first time I did this, I was actually rather surprised at the difficulty I had in locating the leaks. For whatever reason, the second time I did the soapy water test, I found the leak almost immediately. Now it is time to patch the leaks. You'll want to dry the pad off and then clean the leak areas with rubbing alcohol to make sure that the pad is nice and clean and will be receptive to the sealer. All you should really need to do is put a little bit of the sealant where the leak is, paint it smoothly with a brush, and then wait eight to 10 hours for it to cure. Again, if the leak or leaks are not very big, you should not need to use the fabric patches that come with the sleep pad. Now, if none of this works, your last option is to box the pad up and send it back to the manufacturer. Whether it's covered by the warranty or not, Experts in a lab should be able to take care of your pad for you, and it should come at a lower cost than buying a brand new one. All right, I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, why don't you give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Click that bell if you want to be notified the next time a new video drops. Until then, I'm Doug. Thanks for watching.